Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to be creating a scavenger hunt. So tomorrow is my son's 10th birthday and um, I'm going to make a scavenger hunt for him to find his birthday presents. So I have a few supplies here. I have my paper trimmer and I have some scrapbook paper. So we're gonna get started just by cutting some of this stuff out. So I'm gonna just move some of this off to the side for now. So these are like the scavenger hunt clues. What I did was I created them on my computer and then I just printed them on sticker paper. So I'm going to cut these out. Now, I came up with this idea um, This uh, the first time that we did a scavenger hunt for his birthday was in 2020. So his birthday as, is at the end of April. And in 2020, um, I'm sure everybody remembers the world shutting down um, in March. So uh, it was just before his birthday that um, COVID happened and everything shut down. And so we weren't able to do a birthday party for him. And at that time, he was, what, turning six, I think. And we had always done a birthday party, um, birthday party for him. So since we weren't able to do one, I wanted to sort of make his birthday, you know, still special. So I decided to create a scavenger hunt for him. It was something that he could, you know, do running around the house to, um, you know, finding all of these different clues. And he loved it. And so ever since then, this has kind of been a tradition for the last four years of doing um, doing scavenger hunts for his birthday. Uh, we'll see. He's going to be 10 this year. So we'll see how much longer he's going to want to do them. But um, he, he loves it. So, so I'm going to keep doing it as long as he wants me to. So I'm just cutting these out and, um, I did print them on sticker paper, but if you are looking to do something similar, you could even hand write them on paper. You could, um, just print them on regular paper. You definitely don't need sticker paper, but since I had some, I thought that it would make my life easier because I am going to, um, adhere these to um, scrapbook paper so it's a little bit sturdier and make it a little bit bigger and brighter for him to be able to find when you know when he's looking for all the clues. So I think I have quite a few of these to cut out so I think I'm going to go ahead and finish that and I'll be right back. Now I have all of my clues cut out. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to create backings using just different pieces of scrapbook paper. So um, I'm going to want to create it with, um, you know, kind of a significant border. So that one, it's big enough for him to find when he's looking for it and also to make it cute. So um, I, I'm trying to think if I cut this in quarters I think I it, the borders might end up being a little bit smaller but let's try let's try doing that so let's kind of try to cut it in half so we'll cut it right about here and then we'll cut right about here now I'm not measuring this. This does not have to be exact. So let's see. Yeah, so it's a little, a little, the border is a little bit smaller than I originally wanted, but that will definitely work. So these are double sided. So I'm gonna probably do like two this way and then two this way. So now since I have this on sticker paper, um, all I need to do is peel and stick. Now, if you don't have sticker paper or you uh, just wanted to use regular paper, you could use a, you know, a glue stick or double-sided tape or um, like a Tombow. There's a, a lot of different ways that you could adhere the paper to the scrapbook paper. So let's do that for the other three and then we will choose a different scrapbook paper to use. 
I think this one will go this way. I have these four done. So now we're gonna take my next scrapbook paper. So let's do, I have another one that's that same size and I think we'll do this one. So again, I'm just going to like cut it approximately in half. And then cut it approximately in half again. And since it is double-sided, we'll do the same thing where we're gonna have um, two with the small polka dots and then two with the larger polka dots. All right, my next set of four are all done. So let's take, let's take this red one now. And this is a bigger, this is a 12 by 12. So let's see, I think, I think if I cut it in like nine, I think that would work. So I am going to put like kind of some reference lines here. So we're gonna do a cut right about here and then we'll do another cut, maybe we're just gonna do, um, maybe we'll just do six of these. Because if I um, put it this way, it's going to, um, you know, I, I'll have to make this like way bigger. So I'm just going to do six. And then I have um, three clues left that will do another, another scrapbook paper like pattern. So if we cut there and then we'll do another cut like here. And then another one like here. Now for the clues, for the scrapbook clues, uh, or for the um, scavenger hunt clues, uh, I there's a couple of them that I just made up myself, um, and then some of them I just Googled. Um, there's a lot of like uh, scavenger hunt ideas out there. And there actually are a bunch of like free printables that you could that you could get and you know just print. Um, but I thought that it would be fun to make it myself and kind of um, decorate it since I have, you know, all the supplies and everything. So I thought that that, that would be fun to, to make it myself. So again, I'm these aren't exact. They're not going to be the same size. Um, like these red ones are a little bit bigger than the other ones. And, and that's fine. They don't need to be to be exact. So there's three. And then let's do... And let's do three more. Cut right about there. And then cut right about here. Okay, here's five of them. That's good enough for that color. And then I have this kind of patterned scrapbook paper. And I think we'll kind of do the same thing. I'll just mark, put a couple of marks on here. And cut this out. And how many more do I have? This is five. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. I only have eight left, so I think I can 
I think I can make three out of this pretty easily. So we'll do one. Two. Oops, that didn't cut all the way. Okay, so let's stick all of these down and um, I will be right back and we'll do a little bit of decorating. You don't have to decorate it, but um, when I created them, I did leave some space at the bottom so that I could put some stickers on there just to make it even more fun. So um, I'm gonna just stick all these down and then we will uh, decorate, decorate the clues. Now that I have all of my clues adhered to the scrap of paper, now we can do a little bit of decorating. So I have a few sticker books that will have some like small icons that I can put on the bottom. Um, I have this, this sticker book uh, is, this is just an icon sticker book. This one is all the things. And then this is uh, Fun Brights, the, the mega sticker book. So I know in here, in Fun Brights, there are like birthday. Uh, don't make a liar out of me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Here's some like birthday and like birthday cake. So I think those would go well color-wise with with some of these so we can take like this little cake and this says birthday and celebrate and then here's like just a couple of stars so you can put a star there and star there um so look how cute that is. All right, so now for these, let's see what else we wanna put. Here's like some animal print, that's kinda cute. We can put that down here. How about a couple of these little like florals? That there. Maybe like a smaller one over here. And maybe we'll put another like birthday sticker in there. How about another cake? How about a yay? Yay. And we can do another flower. All right, now we're moving on to the red ones. So let's see. This one says smile. That's cute. And maybe we can put some, like a little disc there. I think last year when I went through, I tried to match uh, the stickers to sort of what the clue was about, but I'm not doing that this year. Um, like this one, it says, you use me in your hair to get out the dirt. If I get in your eyes, it might hurt. So that's shampoo. Um, so I would like find little stickers that had shampoo on it. But um, this year we're just kind of putting fun stickers on. Now, if you've never done anything like this before, like you've never done a, a scavenger hunt, the way that it works is uh, he's going to get uh, the first. So this is the very first card. So I'm going to hand this to him. It says, today is your birthday. Hip, hip, hooray. Your first clue is hiding where you like to play. So he has a playroom in our house. So this will be the first clue. I give it to him. Actually, usually I... Um, like roll it up and stick it in a balloon and blow it up and then we pop the balloon and the the clue comes out and then he reads it and so this will lead him to his playroom and in his playroom somewhere there'll be another clue 
hidden. And let's say it's this one where this one says, birthdays are special. Today is your day. To find the next clue, you'll need to look around, go to the place where your dirty clothes can be found. So this would lead him to the hamper and in the hamper, he will find another clue. And so it leads him kind of all around the house. I actually have two, uh, two clues that go outside. So one in our mailbox and one on our deck. Um, but, you know, kind of leads him all around the house. And then the very last clue is where his presents are hidden. So, uh, so that's sort of, that's sort of how it works. That's kind of how we, um, how we do the scavenger hunt. And it really is fun. It's fun for me too, like running around the house with him. Um, how about... use this little like washi strip that's kind of fun you can put this little quote see the good in all things so as you can see I'm really just randomly putting stickers on here um, just to decorate it and make it kind of fun This book has like a bunch of these gold sparkles. So I'm gonna put them in here. And I switched it out because this one had so much blank space. This one doesn't have as much. So I thought that this would be a better, a better clue to use these sparkles on. And for that other clue that has like a ton of space, um, I'll pick like a bigger sticker. Okay, let's go back to this one that has the big empty space and let's put like a bigger sticker in there. How about this one that says bright skies ahead? I like that. And let's see, what do we wanna put it with? How about another one of these little flowers? Uh, this time let's put the flower on this side. I think for a lot of the other ones, I had the flower on the left, so we'll put the flower on the right. There we go. Okay, so we have, let's see how many left. I have eight left, so let's move on to some of these like icon books. So let's see what we have in this one. Oh, let's do like a little rainbow. Oh, does this one have, yeah, here's some balloons. Oh, and cake. Uh, let's put that on like this one with the yellow. So let's do some of these birthday cake ones. So we have that birthday cake. And how about this little wand? And then maybe like some uh, like sparkly candles and another little star. And then I need something for right here. Here's like an ice cream cone. And then let's do more candles. That's cute. Okay, what else do we have in this book? We can do some of these. Okay, let's do some of these like ice cream sundaes and spoons. Oh, this one says where you would find a spoon. Oh, well, <laughs> we're gonna put some ice cream sundaes and some spoons on this one. Or should we do, would it look better in a different color? Let's do it in a yellow one, on a yellow one. So let's take a sundae. And like a little spoon. And how about an ice cream cone? And here's another little sundae. And then maybe another like spoon. Cute. Okay, let's take a look at the All the Things book. Oh, this one also has some of these bigger quotes. Oh, here's some presents. Perfect. So some presents and the words celebrate and balloons and stuff. So let's take this one. 
And we have Celebrate with a little present. We can put some balloons. Um, let's move this a little bit if I can. And how about another little gift down here? And maybe a little piece of birthday cake. That's cute. Plenty things spring vibes. There's like some little animals in here. Is it this one? Yeah, <laughs> these are kind of cute. You can do some of these little animals. Oh, this one says bees, and I have some bees. Let's put a couple bees in here. How about a little house? With a little watering can. And then this space, let's see our very last one. What should we put there? Let's see, will this house fit? I think so. Let's just move this B over a little bit. Very cute. All right, I have all of my scavenger hunt cards ready to go tomorrow for my son's birthday. I am really excited. Um, I know he's gonna have a blast. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.